In this video, I'm going to talk about all the reasons that you have to remember in S2. So let's have a very quick review on what you learned in S1. So the first reason is adjacent angles on straight line. So if I give you a straight line, okay, and then all the angles, okay, for example, in this um, figure would be A and also B. So add together will have um, 180. Okay, because this one is a frick angle. So this one is adjacent angles on frick line. And if it is a round angle, okay, the sum would be 360. So um, the second reason would be A plus B plus C plus D would be 360 angles at the point. And then <clears throat> the third reason is called vertical opposite angles. So whenever you see the cross, two straight line, okay, form a cross, okay, the opposite angle would be the same. The reason is vertical opposite angle, okay, and of course angle AOD is also equals to angle uh, COB. And then let's move on to parallel lines. So parallel lines uh, have uh, six reasons for you to remember. The first three is that I give you the parallel lines and you are looking for the angles. Okay, so we use these three reasons. So um, this is how I remember when I was in secondary school okay so the first one i remember c for so c stand for okay corresponding this c okay c stand for corresponding c and then for f so i will remember um this one is f and then would be this two angle Okay, so uh, of course you can write the F like this. So it would be these two angle, or you can write the F like this. So it would be these two angles. Okay, so if the F is like this, would be these two angle. So this one is called the corresponding angle. C for C stand for corresponding, and F stand for the shape F. And then the second one is A sec. Okay, so A of course would be stand for this A stand for alternate. Okay, set would be stand for is that here? So it would be this one, this angle equals to this angle. Okay, of course you can write the set like this. Okay, so it would be this one equals to this one, or you can write the set like this. Okay, it would be this one equals to this one. Okay, or you can write down uh, the set like this. So it would be this one equals to this one. So this one would be the alternate angles. Okay, A stands for alternate. Set would be the shape set. And for the last one, <clears throat> would be interior angle. So this is how I remember would be IC. I stand for interior. And C would be stand for this shape, C. So it would be this two angle. Of course, you can write the C like this, these two angles, or the C like this, these two angles, or the C like this, these two angles. Okay. Uh, the difference is that for interior angles, okay, uh, B is not equal to D, okay. Instead, B plus D is equal to 180. Interior angles 同其余两个 angles 是不同的其余两个是equal的,等于的 interior angle 是加上180度所以那个 properties 不要记错除了你要记是个组合 corresponding 就是说哪两只角 alternate 哪两只角 interior 哪两只角之外 
，亦都要必須要記得咧佢哋個 properties。OK， for parallel lines， OK， 平行線咧就 corresponding angle 同 alternate angle 咧係 equal， 但係咧 interior 咧就係深咗之後一百八十。OK， and then for the next three reason is very similar。另外嗰三個 reason 咧，個用法咧就係唔一樣嘅，完全唔一樣嘅。OK， 係調翻轉嘅，就係、是、given 咗個 angles 係一樣，或者 given 咗個 angles 加埋係一百八十，你去 prove 翻 parallel lines， 你去揾翻條 parallel lines 出嚟，同上面咧係完全相反嘅。咁呢啲咧，你一見到個 proof 字咧。就要非常之注意，因為 for proof 嘅題目咧，你就一定要寫因為同所以。OK， 頭先咧我講嘅所有 reasons 咧，你都唔使寫因為所以嘅。頭先講嘅所有 reasons， 譬如如果喺呢一條，我舉依個例子啦<咳>。譬如我想講呢兩隻個係一樣，好簡單啫。你就咁寫 A equals to B corresponding angles。A B parallel C D 咁就得噶啦，你直接講嘅啫，佢哋係等於嘅，點解啊 ？Corresponding angles 就咁講就可以，但係 for proof 咧就唔同啦 ，proof 咧就要詳細好多嘅 ，proof 咧就要寫因為，要有所以 ，OK， 咁所以咧 proof 咧個寫法咧就有少少唔同嘅 ，OK， 個 proof 咧嘅寫法咧就會係咁嘅 ，so 嗯、um,。<coughs> For example, I name this ang uh this pawn as E. I name this pawn as F. I name this pawn as G. So uh, this is how I write. I will write because angle E F B equals to angle E G D. Therefore, A B parallel C D 要有個因位喺度嘅，你見到多咗一行因位喺度嘅。OK， 而且咧 ，therefore 之後咧，呢度咧就寫個 reason 落去 ，corresponding angles equal。咁有啲同學仔咧就背錯咗嘅，啲同學仔咧就會用上面個 reasons 喎，佢哋咧會記錯咗，佢哋咧會寫咧。Corresponding angles A B parallel C D。咁我咧就會笑佢哋嘅，點解啊？因為後面呢個咧係解釋翻前面嗰句説話點解會係嘅。OK， 咁如果你寫呢個咧，好明顯就係錯。點解咧？因為呢兩隻角等於，所以佢平衡。點解佢平衡啊？因為佢平衡。咁咪好奇怪咯，因為佢 parallel， 所以佢 parallel， 咁咪好錯咯成件事。OK， 因為佢 parallel， 所以佢 parallel， 你聽落去都覺得好唔 make sense 啦，係咪？咁你應該係寫因為 corresponding angles equal， 點解佢會 parallel 啊？因為 corresponding angles 嗰只角係等於㗎，咁啊真係等於咩？係啊，我上一行講咗呢兩隻角等於，呢兩隻角咪就係 corresponding angles 咯。咁成件事聽落去咧就好 make sense 啦。OK， 你係點解會 parallel 啊？你話佢 parallel 喎、啊。OK， 個原因係乜嘢啊？哦，個原因係 corresponding angles equal。真係 corresponding angles equal 咩？係啊，因為我上一行講咗個 corresponding angle， 我計咗呢兩隻角，或者我揾到呢兩隻角，或者佢俾咗呢兩隻角，我真係 equal 噶。由於佢真係 equal， 所以佢係 parallel。咁呢句説話咧嘅 reason 咧，就係對應翻佢上一行嗰個因為嘅。咁所以咧，佢呢個 reason 咧係解釋點解 A B parallel C D。咁如果你咧係寫因用你用咗上面呢個 reason 啦，咁就成件事好奇怪噶啦，因為 parallel 所以 parallel。OK， 好唔合理。咁所以咧，你都可以知道咧，跟住嗰個 reason 呢度都會係 equal 啦。咁跟住咧，呢度咧就唔係 equal 啦。如果你有印象，頭先我提到咧，就係、是、呢度咧就係呢兩隻角加埋咧係一百八十度
。咁呢兩隻國家加埋係一百八十度嘅話咧，個 reason 咧就唔會係 equal 啦。咁就係 supplementary。咁 supplementary 係乜嘢意思啊？咁下面咧我就有英文嘅解釋，有解到咧 supplementary angle 嘅意思係乜嘢。咁就係喺呢一度啦。我呢度咧就有寫到 supplementary。嘅意思係乜嘢 ？supplementary 嘅意思咧，就即係話咧，兩隻角咧 ，OK 個心咧係一百八十度 ，OK 咁即係話咧呢一句説話咧，其實就係對應佢嘅因為，因為呢兩隻角加埋係一百八十度 ，OK 咁當然啦，你唔需要寫 supplementary angles 嘅，你唔需要串曬成個生字落去，咁你就咁寫 S U P P 咧就可以啦。OK， 咁同樣地啦 ，adjacent angles 啊 ，corresponding angle 啊 ，alternating angle 啊 ，interior angle 都係一樣啦。OK， 你都係唔需要寫曬成個英文字落去嘅，寫翻佢個簡寫就得。咁除此之外咧，其實有其他都可以係寫簡寫嘅，譬如 equal、parallel 你可以用符號 ，perpendicular 垂直你可以用符號 ，diagonal D I A G、theorem T H M。你都可以咧，係用簡寫嘅。OK， 咁呢個咧就係你方文學過嘅、呃、其中一啲 reason 咧。咁我哋繼續去 page two 咯喎。